It is Monday, September 5th, 2022, the last long weekend of the summer. Jonathan Kovac and Tivins, welcome aboard to a few new Facebook group members who joined in during the active weather this past weekend. This is the Weather Network's observation template that I chose this morning after sunrise. Crystal clear skies for the majority of the broadcast region. A few clouds for Tivins. Matheson, Iroquois Falls, and Hearst. But look at this, we're almost at zero for Timmins. But as soon as you get on board the Trans Canada Highway, the further west you go, the warmer the temperatures become. And look at this, double digit readings for Moosonee. I'll leave you now with the regional observations. We'll be back on camera with more. Well, the temperature fell down to below zero for Kappa's case and without breaking any records. And this is a time of the year where you could see temperatures fall down to below zero with frosty conditions if we have a stable ridge of high pressure with calm winds. And we also saw the Aurora Borealis at the Kappa's Casing Airport. That's a beautiful night when you can see blue or green curtains shimmering in the upper atmosphere. Just as beautiful to watch as a solar or lunar eclipse as well. Ridge of high pressure is well in place between Quebec, Lake Superior, and it's also being helped by ridge of high pressure over St. Paul, Minnesota. Light winds with the high pressure, stable atmosphere conditions at home, and thumbs up for the barometer as it is continuing to rise between last night and for this morning as well. Let's take a look at the systems now for this Labor Day Monday. Stronger southwest winds at Moosonee. They're warmer. You'll see the temperature results in just a moment. That's a bit of a teaser. Barometric pressure, thumbs up, almost at 3030 or 103 kilopascals. Winds pretty much from all directions, as is typical for ridge of high pressure. I'm watching the move of this ridge of high pressure, though the cloud cover on the satellite picture, which we'll show you in a moment, is still showing the clouds moving from northwest to southeast of Ontario. This ridge of high pressure, which spins clockwise, will soon shift far enough over towards the east that will benefit from a southwesterly wind flow and that'll help the temperatures warm up over the next 24 hours going into the next few days. Satellite picture from last night, crystal clear skies in northwest Ontario. There's a channel cloud cover affecting southern Ontario, doesn't affect us at all. By this morning, the cloud cover is still seeking an over Moosey pouring over towards Quebec, but we're still seeing stable conditions here. And pretty soon we're gonna see that wind shift arrive into northeast Ontario from that shifting high pressure system. Speaking of which, Here's your forecast from the, sweat, uh, from the Weather Network afternoon template. You can see the temperatures between 22, 21, 23, maybe 24 degrees. Winds from the south and east at about 10 k's an hour. 25 could be the hot spot. This is a temperature issue this morning at about 8 o'clock from the Weather Network, and the winds are going to be gusting twice as strong. A fresh late summer breeze from Moosonee of 30 kilometers an hour. We'll take a look at the neighborhood regional forecast for the next 12 hours, including the Almanac, to see where our temperatures are for this time of the year. 